Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 16 of Civilization 5. Got to try and make sure I say the right game now. My mind's been a bit polluted over the last week. Played about 60 hours of Civilization 6 in between this video and the last video of Civ 5. So hopefully I can still remember how to play Civ 5. Hopefully we will get this campaign wrapped up quickly. We are trying to get a cultural victory. We're not too far away from doing that now. In fact, if we go and have a look at our tourism, um, we are influen influential and dominant with everybody except France. It's telling us 33 turns at the moment. I'm not necessarily convinced that it will take that long either. So this may end up being a relatively short um, uh, week. We may only get a couple of videos, so I don't know how long it's going to take. We've got a lot of money in the bank. We've got a lot of money coming in. I'm going to go straight on to the next turn. Uh, we don't need open borders with Germany because we're already influential over them. Uh, we do need open borders with France because we definitely want to try and keep our, our uh, cultural pressure on with him. So obviously the, the cultural victory is a little bit different in Civilization 6. I actually quite like the way it works in Civilization 6. To me it seems to make uh, a bit more sense than it does here. Uh, let's go and have a look at our ideology. Well the only thing we can get is another level 1 tenant. Is there anything here that we particularly need? Not really, but at the same time, I don't think there's anything else that we could get that in any of these other trees that would really make that much of a difference. Gold from Great Merchant Trade Mission. See, most of this is quite useless to us at the moment. Uh, I did actually want the free, um, free general, didn't I? I got the free general. What was I going to do with that? I was going to steal some land back from Shaka, I think it was. Yeah, too long since I've played. Let's just go and grab something here. Cost of purchasing units reduced. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of irrelevant at this stage of the game. No, you don't, don't want open borders with you. That is one thing they do seem to have fixed in Civilization VI. The AI doesn't seem to keep uh, approaching you every 10 seconds, asking you for the same deal that you have to constantly refuse, which is nice. So we finally get this turn over. Yes, I was going to go over here with the general. The attempt was, well, uh, Shaka doesn't exist anymore now. He's been, uh, well, no, he's still around. He's still got a city or two. But this was actually taken over by the Inca, and I was going to try and steal that uranium. But the problem is I can't actually get over there to, uh, to grab it. Unless we get a second great general, which we may well be able to do. So I've got a great engineer here. I'm not entirely sure why um, I've got him sat around. I assume that I was hanging on to him to get a wonder of sorts. Uh, we've got a musician over here. This musician was going to try and head over to uh, France, as was this one. Uh, that's a Polish ship. So yeah, we were going to try and get over to France and do a little bit of um, culture bombing as we do have the open borders with them. Do we have open borders with the Inca? We do not. We don't need the open borders. But I just thought I'd check. And I don't know why I have you around. I guess we were just checking to make sure there weren't any barbarians or anything like that. So, uh, Shaka may well end up getting wiped out. I think that can't be his last city because it's not showing as his capital at the moment. Um, but I'm not sure where else he is. Uh, one of our spies has been promoted. We've got an unassigned spy. Let's go and put you in our last city because we should be the tech leader. Uh, we've, um, yeah, there we go. Everyone's been sent where they should be now and you've been promoted. That's fine. Choose our production. So we finished national intelligence. Is there anything we could get that would help with our tourism output here? Well, an arsenal wouldn't help. A medical lab would increase our population growth. So nothing really. Let's get the medical lab then in that case. It's so nice here not actually being able to, uh, or not having to buy or, or build districts in order to get all of your buildings. I don't mind that mechanic in uh, Civilization 6. In fact, I actually quite like that they've changed that a little bit. But um, yeah, we don't want to uh, use you uh, quite just yet. So we'll put you to sleep. If we ever get open borders with the Inca, which we could do, we could try and do that, you know, just 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 for the lols. Um, no, we want to trade. You probably won't do it anyway, because I think we are different um, different ideologies. 
Not sure if at any point he actually denounced me. I can't remember now. Uh, but will you go for open borders? Wow, he wants a lot. Do you know what, though? You can have the coal. You can have the horses. What if I give you, like, a thousand gold? Because I have a thousand gold. There you go. You graciously accept. You're going to regret doing that in a second. But that's fine. Uh, so we'll just keep having a look around here. We just want to make sure that there aren't any um, barbarians in the way, really. That's all we're trying to do there. Uh, so you're actually going to move into here on the next turn. And oh, you can do it on this turn. So um, free uranium. Now he's a little bit upset. There we go. I have some land. So we stole some back and we stole some more. So we now have a source of uranium. Isn't that nice? And uh, the Inca have captured another one of Shaka's provinces. Do we have spare spices? We do. We don't really need the deal going on anyway. I think at the moment now, this is literally just going to be a uh, game of clicking through the turns until we get that cultural victory. There's not an awful lot else that we can do to try and improve the amount of culture that we can get. We could possibly try and get another archaeologist and find some more antiquity sites, but I've got a feeling that they're probably all gone by this stage of the game. Of course, if we can get over to France and do a bit of cultural bombing, because we do have two musicians, it is only going to take us a uh, few turns to get some units around there. I think you can just sort of sit there for now, actually. Not entirely sure why I had that unit out in the water. There must must have been a reason for it, but I've completely forgotten what that was. Um, we do have a great artist coming, so we could get another great work, so that's not too bad. Uh, unit pro oh, production completed. Sydney Opera House would give us some extra culture. Two great, two slots for great works of music, which is not a bad thing. We don't have to build this in the water that we do on Civilization VI. Nothing else here I don't think is going to improve our output. So yeah, let's go ahead and work on the Opera House because we don't really have an awful lot else that we can do. So we'll just nip over to France. We'll go and culture bomb you. Luckily they took over most of Denmark, so it now makes it a little bit easier to get to them. Apparently we do still have uh, a lot of spices, so let's go and do that. A unit is needing our orders, which is you, so we have to embark you. Uh, Poland stole refrigeration. Still spying on me. So how are things going now with France? What is it saying? It's saying 28 turns, so it doesn't seem to have um, changed any. That 33 turns down to 28. We've done about 5 turns, so that would make sense. So we'll have to go and see how um, how quickly these culture bombs will help. Of course, getting the National Visitor Centre will help us when we can do that. Tourism um, output from the city and Great Works plus 100%. That's what I was saving the Great Engineer for. Now I remember. So telecommunications will finish at the end of this turn. So there's telecommunications done. We've got another spy now who we don't really need. Uh, if we choose our research, again, it doesn't really matter. Nothing else here is really going to help us. So let's go and get... Well, let's get satellites. And um, we'll culture bomb here because we can. So that's like four and a half thousand tourism. Uh, we've got another spy. I uh, don't know where we'd want to put you. We've already got one in France. Yeah, we've got one in Paris. Um, let's get one in Berlin just as a diplomat. Not that it matters because we've already managed to uh, flip them over. You're also going to work your way over to France. So will that actually update in real time? 15 turns remaining. So what we want to do here in Delhi... Well, the Manhattan Project is going to be finished in one turn. So we'll let that complete... And we might actually have this done relatively quickly. World Congress becomes the United Nations. Okay, all good stuff. Uh, again, another mechanic that has been removed from Civilization VI. But I don't think it actually needs it, which is nice. So what we want to start working on now is the National Visitor Center. It's only going to take eight turns, but we'll rush it anyway. 
So let's just have one more quick look. We are looking at 14 turns. So let's get... Um, where's our great engineer? Right next door. So I've sent you to the wrong city for some reason. Uh, can't move you over here because there's a worker in there. What is stopping you from going in there? Is it that caravan? Let's get rid of you then. Don't really care where you go. Just get out of the way. Right, okay. So we'll hurry production. So there's one turn remaining. Uh, choose host. Uh, we'll vote for ourselves. It doesn't really matter at this stage. Because the game isn't going to go on that much longer. In fact, I suspect everything will be over within a few turns. You can go back in there now. So we'll see how many turns that knocks off. Natural wonder's been found. Fantastic. Don't know how we found that, but apparently we did. How did we find that? Um, we have a caravel on auto explore. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and work on the CN Tower just because we've got nothing better to do there. I must admit, I do much prefer how wonders that you've completed are revealed to you in Civilization VI. I do like the sort of quote and the animation and, you know, seeing the whole thing build up from the ground. Uh, but I dislike how if you lose a wonder race that you don't actually get any production or gold back. That is very disappointing. So now that we've actually gone and built the National Visitor Center and that's put our tourism up from 390 to 500, uh, we're now looking at nine turns. And uh, we also have this musician um, that we can pop on the next turn, which might actually be enough to do it. So this uh, this might be a much shorter... Uh, when, I, when I got to the end of episode 15 last week, I looked at how many turns were remaining to flip France over, and I thought to myself, well, it's probably going to be another five videos. But at this rate, it's looking like it might be half a video. Not that I mind. It'll be nice to get Civilization V wrapped up. This was mainly just designed to... Um, Keep me occupied until Civilization 6. Because to be honest, I didn't think I was going to get Civ 6 until um, until launch. And uh, I started this. Then I got a copy of Civ 6. And I'm like, oh man, now I've got too much to do. But let's get this campaign sorted. It would be nice to get that achievement. Because it's one of the first achievements that I... I didn't actually try to get. But one of the very first games of Civ 5 that I ever won was as Gandhi, and I did get a cultural victory, but I think I had four cities, and what was annoying is I think I had three cities until right near the end, but then had a fourth city before I won, and I tried to see if I'd got an older save where I only had three cities. I guess I could have just sort of found a way to lose a city and then try and get the win, but uh, I just missed out on it, so this is uh, hopefully trying to get that back. We're now popular. Um... So, how close are we? Actually, it's falling. How? That must be just a bug, because we must have actually hit it now. That's got to be it. Uh, no, we don't want to be friends with the uh, Zulu. There we go. And there's the Bollywood achievement. Hopefully, uh, OBS is picking that up. So finally managed to get that achievement. Let's go and have a look at the uh, demographics. So we weren't... Oh, shut up, narrator. So the, uh, the Zulu were definitely doing the worst on everything, apart from happiness, which was Germany by a long shot. Um, Korea had the most land. Yeah, they were down here kind of isolated like I was, so they were just kind of uh, left to expand... So that makes sense. And um, we had the best population because, of course, we did. We're India. Uh, we had the most happiness and the most science output, which is strange because Korea was in the game. But at the same time, you know, we were only playing on uh, King Difficulty, I think it was. I probably should have done it on Immortal. Uh, but it was the Inca that had the uh, most income, the most production, the most food, and the most soldiers. Let's have a quick look at the, um, the replay. Seems to be a little bit slow doing that. I've noticed that there isn't really a replay in Civilization uh, VI. You, you've certainly got all of these uh, graphs and things. You can see all of this. But there's no actual um, way to replay the, the video. Uh, although, I haven't seen it in here for a while. Has it gone missing and I've not seen it?
graphs map. There we go. So I always like to go through this at the end. This is one thing that does seem to be missing from Civ 6. So who sort of starts off with their uh, growth spurt first? It's not as bad as playing on Deity, of course, where this um, AI starts with two settlers. So Korea gets his second city out first. Then I manage to get one out. Then Poland. Then the Inca. Then no, um, no, uh, Denmark. Uh, Korea and Poland get a second one out, as does France. Uh, uh, sorry, Poland and Korea get a third one out. France gets his second. Um, Denmark's really starting to blob out there. Shaq is still stuck at one single city. See, the Inca's quite isolated. I think that's why they did so well. They started on quite a large landmass all on their own. France and Denmark on their own uh, little island together, which is probably the reason that they went to war. You can see there already um, Denmark are losing uh, two of their four cities. So Shaka gets a couple more. He even manages to forward settle France there. That probably didn't end well for him. Then there was that city that he settled right on my borders. Again, Korea being um, allowed to blob out there. Their borders are expanding fairly quickly. There was me getting rid of that uh, Zulu city. Uh, the Inca not growing quite as quickly as I thought they uh, would be there. I mean, you consider how rapidly my borders and Korea's borders are expanding. Uh, but the Incas seem to be going quite slowly. There again, I was going for a culture victory, so I had quite a high culture output, which in uh, increases your border growth. And the same thing was going on in Korea, really. So uh, Inca getting another city there. Looks like France has taken another one of Denmark's cities, and they've just settled another one on the south coast, also settling one to the south of, um, of me as well. So the ink is still blobbing out. I wonder it's probably around about this point where France completely eliminated them. Shouldn't be too far away. Um, Germany, of course, right up there on the uh, top. I hadn't even noticed them. That sort of gr pale grey colour almost blending in with the map. Uh, there is uh, France. Between France and the Zulus completely wiping out Norway. Uh, but then looks like the Zulus lost one of their cities as well, the one that was near France. Korea have got a couple of extra cities just south of the Inca, but yeah, that was pretty much it. There wasn't an awful lot of warfare going on apart from that between uh, France uh, France and Norway. Not Norway, Denmark. I keep getting Denmark and Norway confused between five and six. Uh, so the, the uh, war between France and Denmark and the war between the Inca and the Zulus was pretty much it. So that's another... Uh, Civilization 5 series done and dusted. I'm glad that I have got that achievement. I probably won't be playing much more Civilization 5 for a while. I don't know whether or not it's going to be one of those games that I ever go back to, especially once Civilization 6 is released proper. I might stick with 6. There may be a few returns to 5 now and then for nostalgia purposes, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this series. Um, if you haven't already, please go and check out my Civilization VI content. Uh, there's already a couple of series up. So there's my um, my first attempt playing through as the German Empire. Uh, it's a little bit suboptimal. I make quite a lot of mistakes in it, but it's literally the first game of Civilization VI that I've ever played. So it's very much a learning campaign. Uh, and then there's my second campaign playing as Rome, uh, which is going far, far better because I have a much better idea of what I am doing. And uh, there's also a couple of uh, VODs, quite lengthy, about four hours or so, from the two live streams that I did. Uh, by the time this video goes live... I may well have done a third live stream, which may well be going up today, because uh, I assume I'll probably do the live stream on Sunday, render it overnight, and upload it on Monday. This video should go out first thing Monday morning, so the third video of the live stream, if I get to do it, should hopefully be out later today. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Um, what I'll be doing now, as I finished recording my Germany campaign for Civilization VI, and uh, as this video, this series has finished, what I'll be doing now is starting yet another game of Civilization VI as a different leader. I haven't quite decided who that is going to be yet, so it might be um, just sort of closing my eyes and random clicking on a leader. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.